Prey is proud to present the newest version of its LCA software, CIMA Pro 8. This video provides an overview of the main changes and improvements in CIMA Pro 8, which include the introduction of EcoVid 3, regionalized water footprint methods, the update of existing impact assessment methods, and a significantly quicker calculation engine. Let's discuss these changes in more detail. The eConvent Center redeveloped their database completely using new and innovative methodology and format. The main changes in eConvent 3 relevant to its implementation in CIMAPRO are the introduction of new modeling approaches, market processes, a new allocation procedure, and new and updated data. The consequential modeling approach was introduced next to the widely used attributional approach. In attributional modeling, upstream emissions and resource extractions are allocated wherever multi-output processes occur. In consequential modeling, however, the emissions and resource extractions of marginal products that could substitute the co-products are subtracted from the product lifecycle. The modeling approaches result in two data libraries, both of which are supplied in two forms, as unit processes or as system processes. EcoVent 3 introduced processes that represent national, regional, or global markets for products. These market processes include inputs from production in several countries as well as inputs of transport processes. The processes you are used to in Equivent 2 are now called transformation processes. These contain all the inputs for making a product or service, except for transport, in addition to all the associated emissions and resource extractions. When the specific supplier is not known, it is recommended to use the market process. A new approach to recycling products and allocation in case of multifunctional processes was implemented in the attributional version. This approach is much more comprehensive than its predecessor, but it's also more complex. For example, emissions and resource extractions that take place in processes for converting byproducts into valuable products are partly allocated to the main product. Previously, these were only attributed to the upgraded byproduct. Also, the cutoff approach for recycling was abandoned by modeling the complete cycle, including collection, processing, and use in new products. An important addition is new water flows, which are specified by source, for example, river, lake, groundwater, to water, and by country or region. Furthermore, several new datasets were added. These include new types of transport, cement production, chemical production, horticultural and other agricultural production processes. Since regionalized water use data is now available through EcoVent 3, several water impact assessment methods were implemented in CIMA Pro 8. These methods can be found under the category Water Footprint and include both midpoint and endpoint methods. In addition to the new water footprint methods, the following existing impact assessment methods have been updated. Regarding new SEMA Pro features, the most significant improvement is a new calculation engine. The considerable increase in lifecycle inventory data in EcoVent 3 libraries had serious implications on CIMAPRO. For example, calculating the network of a random EcoVent 3 product with CIMAPRO 7.3 would take more than 5 minutes or an additive memory error would show up. The old calculation engine was thus replaced by a fast, accurate procedure that requires much less computer memory. In addition to the new calculation engine, CIMA Pro 8 features include 
Distinction between market and transformation in process categories. Highlighting market processes in the network. An update of the pedigree matrix.